first sauce I want to show you is a delicious summer pesto sauce. Pesto is usually made with basil, garlic, pignoli nuts, but a few years ago on a trip to New York City, we stopped in to just a really cute little corner Italian restaurant, and I had a dish that was made with pesto, potatoes, and green beans, and I thought, I have to recreate this, and I have. And it's delicious, and the texture that the potatoes have in the green beans, while they all meld together in the pesto, there's something about the richness that they give the sauce that you know there's something just a bit different. It isn't your ordinary basil pesto. And it's very easy to make, and the beauty of any pesto is that it can be made in advance, and it can freeze for up to a month, and then you can have pesto whenever you want it. So let's get started. I have one medium potato that I simply diced and boiled as you would for a mashed potato, getting it nice and soft. So that's gonna go into my food processor. And then, four ounces of green beans that I steamed. And all I did was put a little water on the bottom of the plate, covered it with plastic wrap, and microwaved it for four minutes. And they're steamed and they're softened. I'm gonna give this a quick pulse. Beautiful. Now, three cloves of garlic. And of course, basil. Now while I'm pulsing this, I'm going to stream in the olive oil. Spatula, just gonna push everything down to make sure we get a nice fine puree. Put that gorgeous color. And it really does say summer, just the color alone. Look at that, beautiful. Now it is a little thick. Don't worry about it because when we're ready to actually serve this, we're gonna take some of the cooking liquid from our pasta and add it to this and it's gonna give a creaminess to the sauce as it coats all that beautiful spaghetti. Okay, the last ingredients are Parmesan cheese. Lemon zest. And of course, salt and pepper. Perfect. Stir this up. And our pesto sauce is done. So to this point, again, you can make this ahead. You could make this a month in advance, but you can make this ahead for your dinner. And you have one sauce all ready to go. And the flavors are just gonna get better and better as this sits. So when I come back, I'm gonna show you our second sauce, olive oil and fresh oranges. Be right back. So I'm just finishing plating up these beautiful pasta dishes. So to the pesto, I reserved a cup of the water that the pasta cooked in so that the starch in the water helped the pesto sauce all come together and adhere to this beautiful spaghetti. Keep in mind, for any of these dishes, you can use whatever pasta you and your family prefer. So we already have grated Parmesan in the pesto sauce. I just like to finish garnishing it with some slices of Parmesan that I shave on top. And just finish it with some, some basil. And then this beautiful porcini mushroom sauce. It's creamy, it's decadent and just garnished with some chopped basil. Now for this dish, I actually prefer 
a ribbed pasta like a penne or a rigatoni. So I went ahead and boiled up some rigatoni. All of these sauces will coat one pound of pasta, so you want to plan accordingly for your family and friends. And then our wonderful orange and olive oil pasta, just garnished with fresh oranges, added the chopped basil, tossed it all together with the olive oil and orange mixture. It smells heavenly. I think this is gonna be a fabulous, fabulous Sunday dinner. And I know my family is gonna truly enjoy it.